going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. This is a Rich Lux exclusive. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Here we go. Get ready guys because some drama is about to like pop off tomorrow. I'm telling you guys, get ready. Get ready, girls. I have a lot to say, so before I get started, make sure you get your setting spray and set your contour because this drama's gonna crack it, girl. Link in bio. All right, let's talk. I feel like we need to talk. All right, here we go. Jeffree Star recently went onto his Instagram to talk about the upcoming video with Shane Dawson, and allegedly it's about following this whole entire journey of creating a palette, and there's drama, and there's tears, and there's blood, sweat, and all that drama, okay? So for you already know, here's my receipts. Let me see here. Ah, here we go. All right, here we go. Besides that, I wanna let you guys know that this Tuesday, Shane Dawson is uploading the trailer for our next docu-series. And you may go, Jeffrey, a trailer? We want the first episode. Get ready. It's probably one of the craziest, most insane, Things I've ever worked on. I've never worked on a project this long besides makeup. So listen, just listen. Prepare yourself because once you see that trailer, the series will be starting soon and a lot of things will be revealed. <laughs> that was like really intense. Okay, so basically, if, if, can you imagine being James Charles, anyone else, and just like watching that and you're like, oh my gosh, they're gonna talk about me in this video? Cause you already know, Shane Dawson's video is gonna get millions of views, the house. And then everyone's gonna be talking about it. And right now, there's like little rumblings, but by tomorrow when Shane Dawson drops his trailer, everyone's gonna be talking about it. And come right here for my commentary. I'll see you tomorrow. So let's talk about it, okay. I've been getting a lot of questions in my DMs and emails asking if this is going to involve James Charles and um, and the scandal and why are they falling out. Will they address the drama with Laura Leach and the mooch? And it's just every, all these questions keep coming up, girl, okay? But I think if you really know Shane, I mean, if you've been following Shane Dawson since the beginning, he's not like a very malice person or like a vindictive person. So I just don't see him going on video and like totally like bashing or coming for anyone like i just i think he's too nice of a person and that's why he's been able to succeed and thrive so long on youtube i think that there's been times where people get under his skin or like get under his nerves and he just kind of like maybe wants to say something but he just like doesn't just like dude just leave me alone okay seriously get away this is very difficult because i don't know uh, this is just my opinions uh, and i've made it no secret by meetings with Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. I mean, it's it's public, right? And I've seen them two interact together and a lot of people are like, oh, Jeffree Star's a monster, Shane Dawson this and that. Girl, okay, stop. I was there, they have a really good friendship together. Okay, I don't see them using one another. I don't see Jeffrey using Shane or Shane using Jeffrey. It's a genuine friendship, okay? And if you still don't wanna believe that, cause I was in the room, if you still don't want to believe that, that's on you guys. But I'm telling you, I was there and they seem like a really, like a, like a dynamic duo, all right? And I do think that there's real love there, okay? Um, I think sometimes there's like, there's like what business transactions, like fake friendships online. I don't think this is one of them. I think they're genuine people and they're just like, let me just, you know what I think it is? I really do think that Shane was just like, all right, we'll turn on the camera and let's go. And what happens happens and i think that's i don't think anything was staged and it was all fake for views like i think we're gonna see some realness in this in this movie because that's what it is it's nine parts from what i read online it's nine freaking parts and i just hope they don't drop a video a month like i i have wanted like that you know what i'm saying i don't know i just like i'm really excited for it this is going to be epic and amazing it's what everyone's been waiting for Last year, it dropped in the summertime. It's what everyone talked about. And this year, people want it even more. Now, what I want to know is like, after it's all over, will people want it even more? Like they want more, because it's so good. So the rumors are, it's going to follow Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson and a making of a makeup product. And along the way, there might be some drama. And I'm thinking, because there was major drama happening like during the the making of this, I wonder if Shane Dawson will cover it. And I think that, in my opinion, I think that he will touch upon it, but I think that that's not what the video is about. This is not like a drama exposed scandal to, on Shane Dawson's part. There is a lot of tea, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, but I don't think it's a takedown video. I don't think it's a hit piece. I do think that sh James Charles, let's talk about her, girl. I think that James Charles is shook, girl. 
I think that she shook the house because she's like, okay, this video is coming out at a huge scandal during this documentary. Will I be in it? What are they going to say about me? Is it going to ruin me? Will I have to defend myself and get on camera? Like, it's very much that, right? And I don't think, it's my opinion, I don't think that Shane Dawson is out to hurt or destroy anyone. But I do think he'll touch upon it. But it's like stuff that people already knew. Like stuff that's already out there, like nothing new. That's just my opinion. I don't know. This could, it just, this could totally go another way, right? But I just don't see James, uh, I just don't see Shane Dawson as like, coming for someone do i do i feel like uh jeffrey star will go down there and say something shady hell yeah i mean that's like he does it all the time that's how he is he just talks right and then people just take it how they want to take it you know then there's just the drama with tati will she be in the video as well and her halo beauty pills and all like i, I don't know this is there's that's why we need to watch because there's so much in this video in this movie, I call it a movie, girl. It's like a nine part movie. There's so much that that's, that could happen. And I'm like really excited about it. And I think that a lot of the general public or people who love YouTube and watch it are really excited about it because this is like, honestly, this is some good content. Okay, let's just be honest, all right? And, this, and, if, J and if Shane Dawson was to come, come for James Charles, James Charles will never let it down. She'll never let it down because you don't even follow each other on social media, right? I don't think they even follow each other anymore. I think James Charles unfriended Shane or something. It's just crazy. I don't even know. But I think that James Charles, it, it, she'll, she'll never let it down. I know how she is. Like, she's very, like, very much me, me, me. She's surrounded by yes people. That's my opinion. And I don't think that, and I think that if they were to come for her, she'll be very that, that whenever Shane Dawson, God rest his soul, whenever he passes away, that James Charles will be there at the funeral, girl. And the pastor will say, is there anyone who would like to pay their respect? And James Charles will walk in. I would like to pay my respects. And everybody will be there. I mean, Shane Dawson's funeral. Let's talk about it. Love her so much. Although I think she's immortal. Let's just talk about it. Tati will be there. Jeffrey will be there. Dolan Twins will be there, girl. They're all mooch in the back in the leads. Every, every Nikki Tutorials, Patrick Starr with her turban, girl. Maybe she'll grow hair by then. Who knows? But there, everybody will be there, okay? And James Charles would wobble up to the top. Because you know her hat, girl. Okay, whatever. And she would say, I would like to pay my respects. Shane Dawson was a good woman. But she ruined my career and put me in a video. And then the pastor would be like, get, get off the stage, ma'am. Get off the stage. Get off the stage. And then James Charles would be like, no. No. Don't touch me. I want to pay my respects. Like very much that, right? I'm like, okay, chill. Let her pay her respects. Shane Dawson ruined me. And then usher off our stage, right? And the throw in jail. But like, I think that very much so. Because this has a potential. Literally. I don't, I don't know. I think Shane Dawson knows. I hope he knows. I think Shane Dawson knows that what he says in this, in this docuseries can really make or break someone. If that makes sense. You know, it could really like, whew, like if it's edited badly toward one person, girl, how are you going to recover from that? Okay, so I think very much so, James Charles is kind of shook. She's scared of what edit she's going to get. Very much like being on TV shows. You just don't know how they're going to edit you, girl. Hopefully you get a good edit, James. But I don't know. So it's very much that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Because there's a lot, there's a lot of drama that's about to be exposed. And we're going to be here for it. And I'm excited to watch it. And I, I'm putting good energy out. It's going to be a good video. I just hope James Charles doesn't freak out, girl. Because you know how she is, girl. Last time she went missing for like a week or two. And then, then we caught her shopping at Louis Vuitton, girl. Okay, whatever. Oh, yeah. Okay, don't forget. <laughs> I haven't been talking about this lately. I have a candle out. Mm. Ah, link down below. Check it out. I have a whole bunch of candles out. Hopefully you like it. You can check them out if you want. All right, let's talk. Because I went to Sephora. And I want to show you what I bought. Because this, this is like the main part. Because I bought some new makeup from Fenty. And like it literally just came out. Okay, this is it. Oh, my gosh. Before we get into that, I want to show you this. Okay, don't come for me. Okay, shut up. Don't come for me. Okay, so I went to Claire's and I saw this at Claire's. I know, right? Asbestos, whatever. Does it have it? Who knows? And this is what it is, right? And I was like, well, what is it? This is so cool. Check it out. You hit this button right here. Oh, first of all, look at it. Okay, you hit this button. Oh my God. It opens up by itself. You push this, you push this button. And it opens up by itself. And I thought it was just, I think that was so cool. Why don't all palettes do that? That is so cool. And it's like a lippy thing. Is it used? 
Girl, it's probably used, girl. Probably, I mean, this was the only one available at Claire's. I was like, can I get another one? Like, this is the only one we have. And it was $20 or $20, whatever. I just thought it was, so, and you know, this thing costs like a dollar to make, girl. But no one cares, because we still love it when we buy it. But that was really cute. So I just wanted to show you that. Like, I literally bought it just to like show you guys. Okay, so here's this thing I got from Sephora. It's like this new roller thing that Rihanna came out with. It came with a brush. First of all, here's the packaging. It came with a brush. But I, I didn't feel like the brush was like necessary. So you open it up like that. It's like very, it brings me back to like the 90s. So it's like very 90s. It says Fenty Beauty. And I, I'm just going to roll it here. Oh, I'm going to shake it. Okay. All right, so I'm rolling it. Wait. Is that, what the hell? What the hell is this? I don't know what it's supposed to do. Okay. So supposedly it's like a glitter bomb roller, a glitter roller. What? Okay, look, I swear at the store, if you follow me on Instagram, check me out. I demoed it at the store and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then I tried on, and at the store it looks so good. Why does it look like that? Okay, let's try another hand. Maybe it's just my hand. Okay, hold on. Oh my God, don't, all the Rihanna people, like, I swear, like don't come for me, okay? What is this? Okay, it's, um, oh, here it goes. Okay, well, in person I see it. I don't know if you see it. I, now I don't know if I like it. Okay, well, um, that was my review. The fancy stuff um, is very that. So whatever you think this is, if you like it, love it, buy it. Then I bought this. It's a beauty magnet. I got this at Sephora too. Uh, only because it was like $6. Like, I really care less. But I was, they were like, oh, it's $6. You want to buy it? And then I was like, okay, cool. And then I, I bought it because I don't need another brush, but I bought it because there's a magnet at the end of it. So <laughs> I guess if I had something, you can like stick it. And so I really like that it's a magnet. So if I can buy all of them, I can just like stick it. Cause like right now I keep, okay, this is how I keep on brushes right now. Okay, okay, serious. Okay, a subscriber sent me this, love me so much. So they gave me this and I just put my brushes in here, but I think it would be so cool if I had like this tray where I can just like stick it and then it will be like a magnet. Oh my God. Okay guys, so anyways, that's pretty much all the drama I have for you today. If you liked the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the drama. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, I love you so much.